Hey, today we're going to paint a watercolor pumpkin. I already have my pencil sketch. You can see it drawn very lightly. I'm putting in highlights first. I started with the uh, Hansa Yellow, which is a nice, light, transparent yellow. The more orange part of the pumpkin is new gamboge, which is just a beautiful pumpkin color. A lot of watercolor has to do with how much water is on your paintbrush. It's the hardest thing that watercolor artists have to learn to master is how much water do I need? So you're going to have to play around with it a little bit. Um, I could tell you like it's a medium amount of water, but it's hard to know what that means unless you're playing around with it. You can see that there's white space in between the sections of pumpkin. And that's important. Otherwise, it'll look like just one big orange round ball. Um, right now, there's more white space than we're going to end up with. But it's important to leave a little tiny bit of white space in there to give it the correct pumpkin shape. I add just a little bit uh, of shading at the edges. So I'm taking my brush and I'm dipping it in a mixture of new gamboge and brown matter. And I, my watercolor is just wet enough that it's flowing into the rest of it without creating basically like a little stripe. But it's not so wet that it's all becoming the same color. So I'm adding a little bit of shadow looks like a stripe right now but later we're going to smooth that out. Sometimes I like to let the color sit there for just a minute before I smooth it out. You should try that. Um, it helps it to to kind of stay defined. So too much water. He saw there was too much water there. That's a good example of too much water took a little bit of water off my brush and now I'm, I'm getting more of a, a line again too much water you can see that's too much water I'm smoothing it out adding a little bit darker this side of the pumpkin has less light hitting it so it's darker Some of the white space in between, it touches, it's not a big deal. Um, you're going to have that with watercolor. It's not going to be, you know, so perfect that none of the things touch each other before you want them to. It's kind of the beauty of watercolor. Okay, right here I'm adding the stem and, and the pumpkin's still wet. And I want it to be wet because I don't want the stem and the pumpkin to look like separate pieces. It's all one thing. and Putting it together while it's still a little wet helps it to be more naturally colored. Right now you see like a really dark color and you're probably thinking, wow, why is she putting that super dark color there? 
on the stem, but we'll, we'll fix that a little bit later. I'm adding some <clears throat> dark around the edges of the pumpkins. And again, we're gonna smooth things out in a minute. We're just letting the dark sit there for a second. There we go, smooth them in. My brush has um, just, just a little bit of water on it when I'm doing this smoothing. Too much water and you'll just make a mess and not enough water, you'll be picking up color instead of smoothing it out. So adding more shadows in. shadows to create the uh, shape of a pumpkin where each ridge is actually a little bit rounded so the edges of each ridge are a little bit darker right now I'm putting in just a lot more shading we're going to smooth it out soon but sort of building up the layers of color letting them blend and see how the white is kind of disappearing at this point the white in between the sections is disappearing a little bit we're going to leave some of it there you know where that it, it'll look natural like where the highlights are hitting it but right now adding more shading and taking away some of that um, white space that divides the pumpkin into sections. Smoothing things out a little bit. And right now I'm just going to go through with a light bit of the new gombage and I'm just going to smooth the color. And, I'm, and I've got color on there, so I'm making the pumpkin a little darker at this point overall. Overall, it was too yellow. Right there, I touched the stem with a little bit of yellow. Um, because stems aren't... Green stuff is rarely all just one green. And here we're putting in another shade of green. And so it gave it some, some dimension. Okay, I've got just a touch bit of green on my brush right now. Green, um, not only do pumpkins have little bits of green in them, but green is um, sort of an opposite color of orange, so when you add it, it'll, it'll darken it up in a pretty natural way, um, differently than adding just a dark orange to it will create sort of a more muted shadow. Be careful though, you really don't want to put too much green into your pumpkin, it'll look odd, trust me. <laughs> and there you go. So hit the subscribe button, I hope to bring you a lot more videos in the future, and hope you have fun with this. <laughs>